Take to the skies in World of Warcraft Dragonflight with an all new form of aerial travel. Dragon riding opens up fresh options for movement, exploration and combat in the clouds above the Dragon Isles. Whether you're a seasoned mount wrangler or don't know one end of a drake from the other, you can get up to speed with our introduction. Welcome to Dragon Riding 101. Firstly, it's important to understand that dragon riding uses a momentum-based system to keep mounts in the air, making it different to other forms of flying in World of Warcraft. When starting out, pick a high point to launch your drake and take an initial leap of faith. Once airborne, dive quickly to accelerate and reach maximum speed, indicated by visual effects such as wingtip contrails and a glow around the drake's entire body. Managing your drake's velocity requires you to pay attention to the direction of travel and elevation, as the intuitive physics system uses gravity and momentum to help you descend and soar skyward. Once you've mastered the basics, use dragon riding abilities to bolster your aerial options. These include surge forward and skyward ascent moves, which boost speed and elevation. Such abilities are powered by Vigor, and you have three Vigor points ready to use initially, with more becoming available as you increase your dragon riding mastery. Vigor recharges while you're on the ground or when you're flying at maximum speed using the Thrill of the Skies buff. With some practice and well-timed use of these basic abilities, it's possible to maintain maximum speed to recharge Vigor, while also using abilities to gain altitude and extend your flight. Options for dragon riding are expanded by collecting dragon glyphs, which are hidden throughout the Dragon Isles. Seeking out these hard-to-find collectibles encourages exploration of the various valleys, peaks, crags and forests of the region. Glyphs unlock new abilities, award additional vigor points, and help optimize dragon riding based on your flying style and personal preferences. Four unique new Dragon Isles drakes are available through Dragonflight, and you choose how your mount looks. From snouts and spikes to tails and talons, the extensive customization options for body parts and armor offer millions of different combinations to make your mount your own. It's not just in how your mount looks that you'll earn bragging rights. In the game's many aerial activities, you can train and excel to earn XP, titles, and loot rewards. Timed races test your dragon riding abilities with tiered challenges that unlock bronze, silver, and gold achievements. They come in normal and advanced difficulty levels and are scattered across the Dragon Isles' varied zones to incorporate different environmental obstacles. In some, you'll seek out free speed boosts, while others require you to apply your knowledge of dragon riding to deploy vigor points to maximum effect. With lots to master when it comes to dragon riding, it's important not to overlook the joy of simply cruising the skies and exploring each zone. The aerial experience has been revamped to ensure that moving from one place to another is an enjoyable act in and of itself. On your travels, you will visit the tempestuous waking shores to aid the red dragonflight and will get to experience the Onaran Plains, where the green dragonflight face an uncertain future without the legendary Ysera. As you explore the isles, you'll discover that each of the four new zones, or five if you embark on the adventure as a Drakthir evoker, has its own tales and secrets that emerge as the land reawakens and long dormant threats rise again. Now that you're primed on dragon riding, you're ready to tackle these challenges head on. World of Warcraft Dragonflight launches on November 28th. For more on World of Warcraft, keep it here at IGN.